Hello, Miami. This is Drill Five Sports Now, your home podcast and channel for all things Miami sports related. I am Will, and the, the game in which the Miami Hurricanes defeated Texas A&M by a score of 40 to 33 has done great wonders for recruiting as the Miami Hurricanes have picked up, you know, two guys from the class of 2025. And Booker Pickett Jr., right, Booker Pickett Jr., after the game basically was crystal balled by Steve Wolfong to pick the Miami Hurricanes. Now, what makes this kid very, very, very intriguing is the fact that if he does choose the Miami Hurricanes, he'll be the third defensive end. Yes, the third defensive end to have committed to the Miami Hurricanes in this recruiting cycle. He is listed at six foot three, 205 pounds, a bit slender, right? A bit slender, like a Jason Taylor type. Uh, he goes to Wharton High over in Tampa, Florida. He is a legacy cane as his father, Booker Pickett Sr., was a DN as well for the Canes in 1994 to 1996. And, you know, it's in the blood. Just do it. Commit, commit, commit. All right, so um, just a little bit about um, 60 sacks. Okay, 60 sacks so far. He's playing a senior year right now at Wharton uh, for his career um, over at Wharton. 30 sacks his junior year. Had an explosive junior year. That year as well, not just sacks, but also 56 tackles. 16 of those came for loss. Two, pa- two pass breakups and one forced fumble. So this kid is just a flat-out baller. He's balled out. He balled out his junior year, is expected to ball out his senior year, and uh, has made the Miami Hurricanes, you know, it looks like as his number one choice. We'll see what happens. We'll see where exactly he commits. I don't know when he's going to commit, you know, uh, but he has shown a great interest in Miami, especially from what he saw from the defensive side of the ball, you know, over in uh, in the Texas A&M game. And also, I will say, even against Bethune-Cookman, even though it's Bethune, I'll explain why um, when, after I go over his analysis. Watching the film, the huddle, he looks great, okay? It looks great. He's a two-sport athlete. He played basketball as well, and it shows. A lot of basketball players transi- transition well into football and vice versa. Relentless pass rusher. I mean, he's got an absolutely high motor. He is an absolute beast, and he is basically in search of his prey, but he's chasing down quarterbacks, right, as well. Highly athletic, extremely athletic as well incredibly fast is usually ahead of the offensive lineman the attack in particular that's trying to block him can't get a hold of his chest he finds a way to slap the hands uh slap his hands out the way get on the outside of his uh, offensive lineman if he needs to but if he needs to stop the run on a zone re situation when the ball is given to the running back he could easily go inside as well he can transition his body his hip movement because of his basketball background and his footwork is very 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 excellent you know as well he's being held doesn't matter Finds a way to get to the quarterback. So he's also incredibly strong, right, as well. And unbelievable. One thing I do like about the kid, and I will say this, is the way he tackles, right? He tackles wrapping a guy up and bring him down. He'll put his shoulder into it, but he won't just throw the shoulder in there. You know, he will throw the shoulder and wrap around completely, ensuring the tackle. And that is good, fundamental football. I love seeing when guys just wrap up and not just go for the big hit just throwing in their shoulders. That's sometimes you have a guy strong enough. He could bounce off. He could bounce off. And you're looking at, you know, possibly 15, 20 more yards, or even he gets into the end zone. But the fact that he ensures that he completes his tackle is absolutely amazing. The fact that he wraps up and brings the guy down. So that is very, very, very essential, especially when you're chasing out quarterbacks. Quarterbacks these days tend to be a bit more elusive than they were back in the day where guys were just more pocket passers. A lot of these quarterbacks are very good with their feet and they're, and they're, strong, strong in what they look, and they're able to escape, you know, if you just grab with one hand. So this guy makes sure that he gets two hands on you, both arms on you, and takes you uh, to the ground, all right? So, again, on zone reads, follows the, uh, follows the quarterback. Uh, if you look at his huddle video as well, he will uh, catch the quarterback if he pulls the ball out, and he will catch the running back if he uh, if he tackles him down. Can go sideline to sideline, very athletic, can chase down running backs very easily, can chase down athletic quarterbacks as well. Um, again, this is the kind of guys that Miami wants. Miami wants disciplined guys, good defenders, fits Lance Gidry's system to a T because he's fast, quick, and smart, right, as well. And he's able, you know, to, to do what he needs to do, does his job, stays on assignment, doesn't freelance. That's what I saw. From what I saw in the video, there was no freelancing. He played his assignment, played him to, to success, and was successful in doing so. All right, that's a little bit about Booker Pickett. I want to be very short. I want to make a couple of announcements, okay? A couple of announcements. I may be doing a halftime live stream for the Miami Dolphins game as they play the Patriots over in Foxborough. I may do a halftime live stream, so look out for that. And also, I'll be adding a new segment 
as well to my channel. It's going to be called Flip Watch. Okay, it's going to be Flip Watch. These are guys that have been projected to possibly flip and become Miami Hurricanes. Not a guarantee. Very hard to predict. This is just things I've heard or, you know, things they've said in the past that may not stay with their team depending on where the chips fall. So look for that segment. It's a little controversial because I know it's going to piss off a few people, especially the school that um saying they're going to flip from. All right, so stay tuned for that. I will be doing a segment again called Flip Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, short, straight to the point. Hope you like what you heard. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Five Sports Now. Once again, I will stay safe. God bless you soon. Go Canes, all about the you. And don't forget Sunday. Go Fins. Bye-bye, guys.